So I got these little monitors, these little speakers, and I thought I could use them as monitors. The cones are free. Tweeters look fine. So what's interesting is that the glue has failed or someone's opened them to mod them on both of them. But in both of them, the speaker, the cones seem fine. What are these? Let's see, let me find. Uh, yeah, they're three inch woofers, some sort of small tweeter. This is, looks like metalized uh, polypropylene, which was, you know, supposed to be fancier than regular polypropylene. And, and it's very much characteristic of the era, but they seem fine. I'm going to hook them up to the little Lepi amplifier and see if they work. And then if not, well, if they work, we'll give them a shot of the old Gorilla Glue. And just for reference, here's the little crossover inside. It's a real crossover. A couple of capacitors and some resistors to balance it out, and an iron core inductor. I mean, nothing fancy on this, right? But it's a sealed box. There's not that much to go wrong with it. Well, let's put it back, let's put the top back on and put some power to it. So we'll just give the music a moment because since I've got a kid, this is what I'm listening to lately. And Disney doesn't like copyright very much or copyright violations very much but um, they're both working just fine. So I think I'm gonna glue them up. The only other thing is there's like one minor tear on the grill cloth, one of these. I can't remember which one now, uh, that one. And they're each missing one foot, which since I'll hang them on the wall, that doesn't bother me. So overall, not a bad little find for 20 bucks or so. Yeah. These are certainly intended to be rear, to be used in a 2.1 system or as rear, uh, rear, rear surrounds. I think probably rear surrounds is the most likely use for something like this, but it's a pretty nice little case. And to be honest, you know, you can't go too far wrong with um, a sealed box, right? Assuming the crossover is half decent. These, I would assume that the crossover is a, uh, is I have no idea what the crossover would be for this piezo thing, but for that, my guess is it is a single um, a capacitor, which just provides a high pass filter. That's usually the approach that was taken with tweeters on these things. Then you just let this trail off. This or could these have a real crossover, a simple one, I'm sure. I mean, I don't know anything about them, but. Certainly a, a significant step up and these are pretty heavy little things. Although those little Radio Shack Centrio speakers are heavier than you think. All right, so I've glued them down. I've used Gorilla Duke glue because that's what I've got, but it should stick nicely enough to the plastic as well as, um, as to the uh, fiberboard that they're, that they're made out of. We'll let that cure up for a couple of hours and then I will clean them off. They're surprisingly blemish, blemish free on the outside and then I think I'm just going to use them. So all in all I'm pretty pleased with these. I found something else which is an old calculator there as well for a couple of dollars, three dollars actually. And I will do another video about that soon because that's going to at the very least require working out a power solution. So you can look forward to that in the coming weeks if you subscribe to my channel.